Welcome back to Scouting for History. It's a chilly day. Uh, I got a call the other day to help somebody find their wedding ring. So now here today I'm back. Uh, I did find their wedding ring. It took me about 20 minutes. But uh, now I'm back. He said I could detect his yard. It's a tiny little yard too. Shouldn't take too long. But uh, while I was looking for the ring I could tell it's never been detected. Lots of little squeaks and beeps and all kinds of things. So let's see what we can find. Stay tuned. Well, this one's ringing up nice since I opened the hole. And it's just a clad dime. All right, on to the next. Another funky signal, and it was a wheat peg, but there's still something in the hole. Not quite sure what. So we'll find out. side oh. well that's not what I wanted <laughs> just a nail on to the next well a bunch of junk lots and lots of junk but I think I just got a silver ring that's cool. I'll clean it up. You'll see it right here. But uh, hey, always like to find at least one good thing in every yard. There's a little kid's ring, it looks like. But, uh, well, I'll clean it. You'll see it right here. Cool. On to the next. Well, and this was another iffy signal. It was ringing up in the 40s on the simplex and it's a silver war nickel cool see you just got to dig those iffy signals you never know what it'll be on to the next two silvers in one day that's a good day well there's a lot of trash in the yard but every now and then there's something interesting uh, here's a little car don't think it's real old but I'll clean it up and see what we have all right on to the next well I knew if I kept looking I'd finally come across some silver it's just a Roosevelt but uh, I'll take it Glad to have some silver on a nice cold day. So now I've got a 35% silver, a 90% silver, and I believe a silver ring. So not a bad day, but uh, eh, there's a little bit of yard left, so stay tuned. Well, that first house, the yard was really small. We found a couple of cool things, but uh, not a whole lot. Uh, but I, they gave me the uh, name of the lady next door. I came knocking, and she said it's okay. So let's see if we can find something at this house. It's a little older, probably from the 20s. So that is a bigger yard. So well, let's see what we can find. Well, the first find at this new house is a Philadelphia Transit Corporation token. I find these every now and then. This was a newer newer model, but uh, uh, it's still pretty old, probably 50s or 60s, but uh, hey, we'll keep looking. And, and the first silver from the yard is a Roosevelt from the 60s. 
So, yeah, we'll take it. All right, on to the next. There are lots and lots of pennies in this yard, but uh, at least most of them are wheat pennies. But uh, I'm hoping for some silver or some old nickels or something cool. Well, I'll curse this one. It sounds like sounds like a silver dime right here. Hmm. Sounds worse now that I opened it. But sometimes... Sometimes it sounds worse because of all the dirt. Sometimes it sounds worse because it's a clad dime. <laughs> On to the next. Well, that was a screamer right under the surface. <laughs> I could probably reuse that. That's still in pretty good shape. On to the next. All right, this sounds like a silver dime, and it's deep, deeper than the other one was, so let's give it a shot. course it's a high ringing wheat penny let me recheck the hole might be something else in there too nope that was it on to the next well safety first everybody you never know what you're gonna dig all right I, I'll put this in a safe place. Well, just wrapping up at my last part of the day is a nickel. So, I found some cool stuff. Uh, can't be can't be sad with this hunt. Yeah, silver any day is good. But uh, could have done with some more relics. But Ah, oh, well, there's always next hunt. So, stay tuned. See you on the next one. I hope you enjoy these little adventures of mine. Uh, if you do... Just hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. So if you like it, hit subscribe. So I'll see you on the next one.